Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. Today's video tutorial is about virtual machines and how to use them and get them for free. Uh, we're going to be using the free software VirtualBox from Sun Microsystems, who was recently bought out by Oracle, but that's kind of irrelevant. And for those of you that don't know what a virtual machine is, it is the ability to run an operating system within an operating system using a certain software. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, uh, to get VirtualBox, which is pretty much the best free virtual machine software, you need to go to sun.com, and in the left bar you will see right here, Sun VirtualBox, just click on that and click download. You have to, uh, make a quick registration, uh, after you click, you just click right there, and scroll down to Windows, and see, yeah, right here, you, can, you kind of have to, you, I don't even know if you have to really do this. And you can click continue. I guess you don't. Just click and download it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is a fairly big file. As you can see, 62 megabytes. So this is going to take a while. So um, I am going to... I already have it installed. And you guys know how to install something very basic. So I'm just going to skip this. And open up VirtualBox right here. This is what you're going to do after you install it. So when you open up VirtualBox, you are going to get this right here. This this um, right here will not exist, and I don't even need that anymore. So you're going to get this right here. And the first thing you want to do to set up a virtual machine is click New. Click Next right here. And name what your operating system is going to be. So probably whatever OS you're going to run on. For a test, I'm going to be doing Ubuntu 9.04, and I'm pretty sure this is 32-bit. And right down here under OS type, this is for configuration purposes, uh, click Linux. And then you see it's on Ubuntu already, and since this is 32-bit, I'm going to leave it. There's also options for 64-bit. And I'm going to click Next. And um, you can select the amount of RAM that you want to allocate to the virtual machine. So um, I'm going to do a gig, so that's 1,024 megabytes. And click Next. And right down here, uh, you see the option for a um, new hard disk. You can either use an existing hard disk that you've already created, which I'm sure you haven't since the first time you're doing this, so click create new hard disk, and you get a new menu. Click next, and you see right here you can either choose a dynamically expanding storage or a fixed storage. Dynamically expanding means that um, it starts small, and as you add more stuff, the hard disk just automatically gets bigger, but you can set a limit on how big it can get. Fixed storage means it automatically allocates from your hard drive that amount of space, and it doesn't grow, it just is that size, and you can have empty space on it. With dynamically expanding, there's never empty space. Dynamically expanding is good if you're low on space, but it's slower to uh, add new things. Fixed storage is faster, but it obviously takes up more space. So just pick one of them, and uh, now you need to select how big you want the disk to be. I'm going to do probably about 10 gigabytes just for the purposes of this, and click next, and finish. And then um, click finish here, and there you go, you've just created the virtual machine. So now let's click start, and boot it up, and see what we got here. You'll get several messages the first time you use it, and or at least until you click do not show this message again, um, just telling you how to use the basic virtual machine and stuff like that. And there's also the first run wizard, and you can choose things like um, this is how you're actually going to install your operating system. This is important. So select CD, DVD, ROM, and now you need to select the image file, which is going to be, in this case, the Ubuntu file. So it'll open up this, click Add, and browse for the image. I have it saved to the desktop for quick use, and click Select. And once your correct image is in there for whatever operating system you're using, click Next. And you are ready. Click Finish. Now what it did is it mounted the um, ISO to a virtual disk. And now you have the option to um, install Ubuntu, as you can see right here, as a normal way to install it. You can start it up and begin installing. So I'm booting to Live CD, and then as a result, I could install it. So this is pretty much how you use a virtual machine, you guys. It's pretty simple. There are several options that will come along uh, with using it, as you can see. Like, there's an option for full screen mode, and you can adjust the window size yourself. Um, other such things like that, just, you'll, you'll figure it out as you go along, pretty simple stuff, so, but virtual machines are definitely useful, uh, they can, as you can see right here, lag a little bit, 
because they're and also your host operating system can lag, especially since they're sharing RAM. So, but all in all, it's a pretty simple process. This will most likely unfreeze in a second here, and it's probably still working. It's not just displaying it. So there you go, you guys. That's how to use a virtual machine. Um, there is a better non-free option called VMware, which is the only thing better than VirtualBox. But that costs like 200 bucks, and it's really not worth it. So um, there you go. Hope you guys enjoy using your virtual machine. And this really works with any operating system, any Linux, any Windows, except for Mac. You cannot run Mac on a Windows PC. Sorry. So thanks for watching this video tutorial by Case Command Rules, and I will see you guys next time in the next tutorial. Bye.